Hello guys, in this video we gonna be talking about the top 5 of GTA Online's worst free vehicles on the PS5. 5. Cheval Marshall This monster truck isn't too bad when driving through the countryside. However, its large size and lack of speed make it a very easy target for griefers. The only reliable way to drive the Marshall is during a private session. Unless the player is situated in Blaine County, there is no reason to own this vehicle. Even then, the most lucrative activities take place in Los Santos. Players will likely spend the most time over there. 4. Dinka Blista Compact This is a very old-school vehicle by modern standards. Older players may remember the Blista Compact from the PlayStation 2 games. With that said, GTA Online players won't miss too much with this vehicle. It's relatively average in regards to its top speed. While the Blista Compact is very responsive, it will understeer when going too fast. One major problem is that any front wheel damage could result in jamming them. Under these conditions, GTA Online players will no longer be able to drive the car. This is a huge flaw that cannot be overlooked. 3. Vapid Hot Knife Admittedly, this fun novelty act looks fun to drive. However, it suffers from very noticeable performance issues. It's a far cry from the GTA San Andreas version that much is certain. For starters, GTA Online players will have great difficulty when making sharp turns. The hot knife will frequently understeer due to its unresponsive handling. It's going to be very problematic when reaching top speeds. What also doesn't help is the poor braking power. This lightweight muscle car will regularly crash into objects and collide with other vehicles. It also has very low endurance by GTA Online standards. 2. Hijack Chameleon the Chameleon is among the worst electric vehicles in GTA Online. While it does drive smoothly, its underpowered engine gives it a rather mediocre top speed. This makes it unsuitable for competitive street races. With regards to its low durability, players must avoid head-on collisions whenever possible. Otherwise, a damaged engine can result in a disabled vehicle. However, it's easier said than done, since its poor handling can lead to understeering. At the very least, it has really good traction on various surfaces. Even then, it's not enough to consider using in a serious manner. 1. Kraken Sadly, this submersible is ridiculously slow by GTA Online standards. Kraken is very difficult to control underwater since it's a big and bulky vehicle. It also lacks offensive and defensive upgrades, which is a major detriment in today's metagame. The Kraken was clearly made for a different time period in the game's life cycle. A lot has changed since the early days of its release. Even back in 2016, the Kraken was rated poorly by GTA Online reviewers, as seen in the above video. It's only gotten worse in subsequent updates. Rockstar introduced far better submersible vehicles, such as the Ocelot Stromberg.